So what's going on my daddy here bros? I'm actually still in shock and I didn't expect this whole stuff to happen. Um, but yesterday was probably one of the worst days ever you can imagine. I don't know if you've heard it, but in my hometown of my city, um, in Vienna, there was a terrorist attack and I still can't believe it. Tomorrow they said, or actually now today, um, is the second lockdown. Uh, our government decided to make a second lockdown because the corona infections uh, were getting higher again, which kind of sucks, of course, but, you know, better safe than sorry. But since yesterday was the last day where you can officially go out, go to restaurants before they're closing, go into the cinemas or whatever, um, around 8 p.m., there was a terrorist actually shooting like crazy in the inner city and... Holy shit, uh, me and my girlfriend were, were in a cinema, like, at the time where this whole stuff has happened. We didn't even know that it was going on. Uh, people were calling me, and I was, like, declining the calls uh, while I was in the, in the cinema. And I got, like, hundreds of lots of messages. It was, it was absolutely <laughs> disturbing afterwards when I, when I was checking my phone. We got into our car, and we were driving as fast home as possible. Um, I've got, like this site it's our, our official austrian austrian news portal uh, i was translating now the page in english i hope there are no bigger mistakes but i want you to know what the heck is actually going on and that i'm still quite in shock <laughs> so what is known so far after a terrorist attack in vienna on monday evening there is intensive investigation many questions are still open but the picture is clearing up in some aspects the following is an overview of the process and the facts confirmed so far so this was updated like 15 minutes ago from 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 now on as you can see here 15 minutes ago this was posted the tourist attack occurred on monday evening in the inner city with its numerous restaurants shops and cultural institutions the first shots were fired around 8 pm due to the mild weather and the last day before the new cove curve views there were numerous people in the city according to eyewitnesses the perpetrator shot at random at passers-by and local guests I'm gonna show you where it first started. I think somewhere here, Seitenstettengasse, what's it called? And now listen to that. One day before the, this, the shooting happened, me and my boys, two of my friends, were actually, I'm gonna kind of zoom in, no, this is the, fa uh, the closest. Um, let's see. We have been, been somewhere around here eating, around here where we've been eating. Uh, we've been to a ramen shop. And it's freaking, it's, it's fucking messed up. Even two of my, my best friends were very, very close uh, at, the, at the time where the, the shooting happened. And I was very, very scared. Um, one was able, thank goodness, to get safely at home. And the other one was pretty much trapped um, in a restaurant. But was able to get back home after a few hours as well. But I was worried sick for them. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, freaking terrorists. The attack left five dead, including the assassin. Well, but it's actually confirmed that there are multiple perpetrators. The victims of the attack are an elderly man and elderly woman, a young person spy and a waitress. 17 other people were injured. Seven of them are in a life-threatening condition. A policeman was injured and is in a critically stable condition. So also um, speaking about the policeman, two of my very, very good friends, um, also Smash Bros players from the esports Smash Bros scene here in Austria are also policemen and one was at least uh, uh, safely at home the other one was um, pretty much in, in the middle of the happening but he, he wrote us um, today in the morning that he's alright and everything is good and they're still on it 17 of other people were injured, 7 of them are in a life-threatening condition, a policeman was injured and is in a critically stable condition. Holy fuck. On Monday there was talk of 6 different crime scenes. The Graben, aka okay, Dick, how it says there, the Farmer's Market, the Meat Market, Seitner, Stettengasse, Morrisonplatz and Salzkries. On Tuesday the police were inevitable, able to determine three specific crime scenes. One victim was killed at Fleischmarkt 4, another at Franz Josef's Kai 21. Terrorists fired at the seriously injured 28-year-old police officer at Franz Josef's Kai 2029. You have to know guys, this is the inner city. This is a place where I was when I was younger. Pretty much every freaking weekend 
um, to go out partying and stuff. And it's just absolutely insane. Like this is like the party district here in Vienna. And when I was younger, I've spent so much time there. And knowing that, that terrorists were, were, were there, it's, it's so fucked up. And the fact that I was yesterday here in a restaurant it's, it's even worse. Holy shit. <laughs> the perpetrator was shot near the Ruprechtskirche at 8, 9 p.m. So pretty much nine minutes after the first shot, after the, after the first shots. The attack was motivated by Islamists. The man was a sympathizer of the terrorist group Islamic Staat, uh, uh, ISIS. According to the Ministry of the Interior, the murder perpetrator was a 20-year-old student of Macedonia, blah, blah, blah. The man had relevant criminal record for a terrorist organization, so he... He already had a criminal record. So this is pretty much everything that is confirmed so far. My dedicated Rosen uh, It's like like the first shot actually started close to a synagogue. But we don't know if this has something to do with an anti-Semitic. Um, yeah, if it was anti-Semitic, we, 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 we can't tell for now. But our, our policemen and everyone in the government were on it. But just to, to give you the sense of I'm, I'm fucking shocked. I don't know what the heck is going on. And I never felt this kind of fear in my life before. Like Vienna is such a very, very small freaking city. Um, and still unbelievable. And holy shit. Even my girlfriend, uh, she used to live in, in Berlin. And like four or five years ago, there was like another riot uh, on, a, on a Christmas market. And she was witness from that as well. Holy crap. Now she's been into two cities where where terrorist shit stuff has happened. Wow. Um, um, I don't even know what to say anymore. My dedicated Rosenberg. That's, we truly live in a society. We truly live in a society. For now, all I can say is we have to keep calm. And we actually should stay the fuck at home. Not just because of covid because of other circumstances as well. And to the few Austrian or Vienna viewers that I've got, I've got something to say. Bleibt's verdammt doch mal daheim, Alter. Weil die Scheiße ist echt nicht mehr lustig. Das ist einfach nur noch abgefuckt. Und ja, passt auf euch auf und auf eure Geliebten. Und ich hoffe, euch geht's allen gut. Yeah, so with that being said, my dedicated bros and brothers, sorry that it, has, it had to be such a video. Uh, I had to get this from my chest uh, or off my chest and sorry if my, my pronunciations or my grammar wasn't on fleek. I was trying my best and yeah, let's hope that things are going to get better the next days. Stay the fuck at home everyone and take care of yourself. Thanks for watching.